the dragon's tail. I'm going to go over two different ways to get into it. Honestly, I'm not sure which is my favorite way, um, but I found in teaching that for some people, getting to it from an outside leg hang totally makes sense for them. For other people, that way baffles them, but the inside leg hang way totally makes sense for them. Um, that's one of the great things about pole is we all learn things differently and more than one way to do it. So let's go through the outside leg hang way first. So with both of these, you of course want to be comfortable with your leg hangs before you get into these. Um, I would encourage you to go climb up on these. You don't have to, but one of the things in Dragon's Tail, and especially getting comfortable with it, is how much you slide your bottom arm. And sometimes if you invert from the ground, you run out of room. If you're not comfortable climbing up, that's fine. You can do it from the floor, but just be aware it's possible you might run out of a little space with that. Okay, so if I take it one climb up to an inside leg hang. From my inside leg hang. I want to make sure the pole is in my hip. My outside hand is going to go behind my back in a true grip, thumb up, and grab behind. Once I'm there, my inside leg is going to circle round de jambe all the way around until I feel my thigh squishing to the pole. Once my thigh is squishing, almost as if I was going to go to a jade, I want to turn my chest to look towards my bottom hand. Sometimes you might need to slide that hand behind your back down a little bit, and that's okay. I'm squeezing this leg, that inside leg, into the pole. I'm going to try and look towards my bottom hand before I release this back leg. So eventually, as you get comfortable with your dragon's tail, you can take it to fang, all kinds of leg variations. That skin contact, contact of your inner thighs is not going to make a difference. But in the very beginning, you're going to feel like your life depends on it. So make sure when that inside leg circles, it's not just touching the pole, you're pulling it across your body so you're really squishing the pole between your thigh. Okay, so that would be from the outside leg hang. My preferred way to teach people to do the dragon's tail, I think, first time is usually from inside leg hang or flat line. And here's something to be aware of with dragon's tail. Um, just like so many things in pole, not every move works for everybody. Okay. I have really long arms, monkey arms. If you're more of a T-Rex person, maybe shorter arms, you might have a hard time with this grab behind your back. If that's the case, this inside leg hang version is going to be much easier for you to get this wrap. Okay. So now we're going to approach the dragon's tail from an inside leg hang. So inside leg hang or flat line, okay? So my body is parallel to the ground with this bottom arm brace. My outside hand behind my back, thumb up and grab. From here, slide that inside hand, try to turn to look towards it. I wanna think about trying to turn my chest to look towards that bottom hand as much as I can. This leg that's hooked, I wanna think slide my knee to my chest before I release. Okay, so two different ways to get in. The outside hand behind your back, thumb is up. The inside hand is down and it's a funky position. It's not gonna end up quite like a handspring. You won't be able to completely turn your chest towards your bottom arm, but the more you think of trying to turn it towards your bottom arm, the more it's gonna lock this other arm behind your back and it's gonna take less strength to hold everything. Okay, so you can try it from an outside leg hang. Try it from an inside leg hang. Two different ways to try getting into your dragon's tail.